Hello. When my son was little, I used to love reading to him. And one of our favourite series of books when he was quite young were the Mr Men books. I imagine that many of you might have had them read to you, as they were written in the 70s. Some of you will have read them to your own children. And a few of you may not be familiar with them, but I doubt it's many of you. Now, I think that one of our favourite books was Mr Tickle. Now, Mr Tickle, as most of you will know, had extraordinarily long arms. And in the story of Mr Tickle with his extraordinarily long arms, he would reach into all kinds of situations to tickle people and get up to various bits of mischief. Now, as a family, we loved reading this book with Mr Tickle and his mischief and his extraordinary long arms, which reached into all kinds of situations. Although perhaps such behaviour today might not be acceptable. In Chichester Cathedral in the south of England, there is a very long, thin stained glass window which retells the story of Jesus walking on the water. In the Gospel of Matthew, it describes the miracle of Jesus walking on the water of Lake Galilee towards the disciples. It also tells of Peter getting out of the fishing boat when he sees Jesus to go and walk on the water towards him. But Matthew says that Peter very soon starts to sink, perhaps because he's acting on his own strength rather than trusting in God. Just as he starts sinking beneath the waves, at that very moment, he cries out to Jesus, Lord, save me. And Jesus reaches out and lifts Peter up. Now, in Chechester Cathedral, in one of these very long windows, right at the very top, there is a depiction of Jesus. And right at the very bottom is Peter. And in the window, Peter actually appears to be at the very bottom of the sea, drowning. And Jesus appears to have really extraordinarily long arms. And he appears to be reaching right down and lifting Peter up. Now, there will be times in all of our lives when we feel lost, when we feel anxious, times when we feel like we are sinking for one reason or another. And I think that we all need to carry with us this picture of Jesus reaching out and lifting us up. And I think it doesn't matter how difficult life is or how deep we've sunk. Jesus's arms are even longer than Mr Tickle's extraordinarily long arms. There is nowhere that we can be, no situation we can find ourselves in, where Jesus cannot reach out to find us, to hold us and to lift us up. St Paul says it like this in his letter to the church in Rome, Romans chapter 8. I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus. Bless you all.